Hey guys, welcome to Chase After the Right Price. I'm Chase. I'm Chase. And this is Chase After the Right Price. Let's do it. Chase After the Right Price. Hey guys, welcome to Chase After the Right Price. I'm Chase. I'm Thane. And this is a mutual flip episode. So yep. Thane, what does that mean? So mutual flip is a joint venture between Chase and I where we are buying sports cards, Pokemon cards, and all sorts of collectibles. It is mutually funded. So we each put in money to 50%. this and it's investment minded. Yep. So we're trying to find things that we can take, buy, hold on to long, long term or short term to flip and sell and make some money. So so we started with 2,500 bucks yep. between the two of us. We have done a ton of buying, a ton of selling. Um, we've gotten to a point where we have, we actually only have $800 in liquid cash right now, but yeah. that's what the purchase, the sports card end of the purchase we're gonna make is gonna be massive collection buy coming. Yep. Very excited. And we probably got assets of around $8,000 yeah, maybe. Yeah, eight, eight to 10,000, yeah. But see, we're very heavy on assets right now and we wanna get more liquid cash. Yes. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna buy this collection, um, but we're also gonna take through some um, decisions on how we sell, what yep. we're selling, what we're gonna do once we buy it, and we're gonna what, give a lot to, of tips. What to grade, what to sell raw, yep. kind of who to grade with. That's a big one right now. So that's one of the discussions that we've been having a lot is like, okay, where is the value at? Is it obviously PSA is king, but yep. one, you can't get in right now, and two, it's expensive. It, it's expensive. Um, so kind of looking at where's gonna be the best value add, short term and long term, for the cards that we're trying to sell, so. And this is a great way to do it because we don't have a ton of cash left within this venture. Yep. So we gotta make wise financial decisions. And get some stuff. And, and we wanna relate that to you guys and how you can do it in your businesses. Learn about sports cards. If you're deep into sports cards already, there's gonna be a lot here for a lot of people and we're really excited. So let's buy an amazing collection. Here right we now. go. Right. But uh, there's that. So this one's the new Canon. This is an old Nikon. That's and, the 3500. Yeah, and all okay. these a motherboard in it. I mean, okay. I, I tried to get around to doing it. Yeah. I'm not a genius at, at <laughs> okay. photo repair. There you go. That's a great way to transport. <laughs> right. I like it. Yeah, man. So. Uh, there's the controllers. I got the console in there for the PS3. And there's, I know you guys get games there. I just threw them in there. You guys can have them. That uh, hurts. There's like hockey cards here. I know these are some of the stuff that I didn't, you know, send pictures of because they're more commons than they are anything. Okay. Okay. Um, there's, you know, some things in there probably worth a few bucks, but. Nothing major. Uh, yeah, nothing major. So I'll set all this stuff out here so you can see this extra stuff. Yeah. And then the big box has got all the all the stuff. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate you guys meeting me. Yeah. Uh, this just kind of helps us. We're trying to build a car and get some car parts. Oh, cool. Oh, right car. It's a Pontiac Parisian. Like oh. Old, old 80s box Sweet. style. That's, yeah. cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. What's your name, little buddy? Chase. What'd you say? Chase. Your name Jay is Chase? Yeah. Hey, That's a pretty cool too. name. <laughs> you say Jace or Chase? Chase. Chase, the same name. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool, dude. <laughs> Just some random stuff, man. Okay. To tease. And yeah. Oh, cool. Nothing, nothing valuable, but it's all there. Yeah. Okay, the big box. I'm going to get it out here. The money. Yeah. yeah. All these loose ones on top, I was just gonna try to like sell for a dollar a piece on eBay. Yep. But I didn't take the time to really do any of that stuff. But for sure. There's like the, the stuff that I wanted to get graded. Okay. That okay. I didn't. So you know the Kobe's a good, good yeah, solid the nine. There. Oh, that's sweet. That's cool. Yeah, you can check them out if you want. Yeah. That's the most you see stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. And then you got you know some of this year's football rookies, which I hope are relevant right now because Herbert's yeah. doing pretty good. Yeah, so. Herbert's doing great. Oh, nice, oh, nice select. Yeah. yeah. So there's yeah. some. I mean, there's some good stuff in here. There's, I had started getting back into it for him mainly, but he just doesn't really care. Right yeah. Now. Yep. He's actually wanting to get into video games. And nice. Right off. So we'll see, but yeah, if you want to look through them all, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but it's cool. basically all there. And the merino stuff's over here. Okay, yeah, we'll look at some of that. Yeah. Oh, that's 
that's sweet. Oh, nice. Well, there's, there's some tins in there. That'd be crazy if that was a... Tin. Tin, not really. Tin. Yeah. Tin. Oh, I know, right? I yeah. <laughs> I've actually got a rookie car to his that's beat up. And, yeah. And uh, I was going to try to buy one graded, but... <laughs> Especially when you're trying to build cars and trucks. Yeah. yeah. But there you go. That's a choice. Thank you. Thank you. And B wants to. Good good. Yeah. And then here, this is all uh, like empty garbage pail oh, kids, yeah. uh, the chrome NBA hoops, rookies, and parallels. Yeah. I just ran out of top sleeves. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, throw these here. Is the uh, thank you, appreciate it. The Kaboom and the Downtown Marinos are those like back here somewhere? Yeah, they're they're probably in. I guess they're in, in that back somewhere. Yeah, the graded stuff. Yeah, to be graded, but non graded. I mean. Oh yeah, yeah that Kaboom is. Yeah, cool. those were the ones that was. Yeah. Like, those are sweet. Yeah. That Downtown man, that was that's tough to get. <laughs> Did you pull that? Yeah. No, I actually bought. That's why I said it's tough. To, oh yeah. Yep. Because that's a you. that's a case hit for. Yeah. You know, that's really cool. They're really cool artwork too. I just I grew up you know following Marino man and I you know it's just kind of. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Something I kind of got back into. Okay. <laughs> he was so good. With the refractors in yeah, there that's now cool. that's a you get those refractors graded they could get yeah. a couple hundred bucks a piece. I yeah. saw one go for like twelve hundred dollars the other day. That's oh, crazy. Oh my gosh. The Genesis. There's, there's another Genesis. And you got the 10 right yeah. there. Yeah, wow. That's cool. Yeah. That's sweet. I was trying to put together a set for it, but. For yeah. Genesis? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be an impressive set. Yeah, yeah man. It's, it's... Okay. Uh, PS3. Awesome. And it worked, you know, like, if, if it doesn't, just let you know. Everything seemed to work pretty cool. good. Yeah. Cool. And I, like I said, I know the games aren't really worth much, but. 25 cents, 50 cents, whatever. Right. Yep. They're fun to play though. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Want for the, the I mean, cameras. I paid 400 and literally use it three times, man, you know? Yeah. So I know you're not gonna get that out of it and I wanna be able to leave you have room, you know, to make money, so. For sure. You just uh, tell me, man. I, my whole goal was I was trying to get up like 1,500 bucks all together. Okay. I was trying to sell everything including the action figures and, and hot wheels and things like that but i didn't want to load a whole truck up here again yeah you not like it and yeah. be like hey i don't <laughs> sorry man i appreciate it but yeah okay yeah. what's your favorite video game chase i like train video games yeah train video games really that's pretty cool nice <laughs> you like trains yeah, yeah nice. that's awesome he's going on one tomorrow in noblesville are you well, that's the cool. Pumpkin patch. Yeah. Oh, nice. Carve the pumpkin. Oh, that'll nice. be fun. <laughs> You're going to carve it yourself? What are you going to carve into it? Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Myers. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. yeah, he's five and he's obsessed with it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's count it out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen hundred. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, it feels weird. I love it. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, though. guys. Yeah. Hey, nice Absolutely. to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Say you, too, Chase. Right here. Hey, Boom. Man. There you go. Right here. <laughs> well, the deal is done. It's fun making deals like that. I like working with cool people. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> the, just, Joe, you're awesome. It was truly great to meet you. Chase, Joe's son. Super cool little guy. What a great name. Great name. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> they were just a lot of fun. It was fun hanging out, chatting a little bit. Yeah. And man, he took care of me. Yeah, and that was a, a great deal. We're going to have some fun processing that. So oh, yeah. when we get back to the house, we'll uh, definitely for sure kind of go through some of that and show you what we got in detail with those cards. But it's a fun buy. It's going to be fun. And there was actually some, there's some really cool cards that, you know, he didn't send pictures of initially. Mm. So. That, that's gonna be fun going through those. We're gonna have some stuff to grade, some stuff to sell, and we're gonna talk through kind of all of that yeah. and get it all figured out. All right, so we just, uh, we're on our way home from Fort Wayne. You guys have probably already seen some of those videos of some trades and a little bit of retail and stuff like that. But we were like, okay, I wanna find a 
sports card spot. And we're starting to kind of get back into sports cards as we get closer to fall and sports are kind of ramping up. Basketball, football is, is happening right now. Baseball's in the postseason. And we're like, you know what? Let's go find a card shop. And we found this place in Angola, Indiana. Yep. Called Sports Spot. Awesome store. Shout out to Mitch, the owner. Yeah. He was so cool. It was refreshing. Honestly, one of the coolest sports card stores and they also had kind of like a pokemon site so it's one store split into two different buildings yep. and one side's like magic and pokemon and like trading card game stuff and the other one is sports and wax and vintage and modern and it was mitch was the owner there uh so cool yeah. and we walked out with some amazing deals yep he hooked us up he He's reasonable. He sells things like under comps because he knows if he sold on eBay, yep. he would have to cut out 10, 15%. So, so most of the things we got, we got around 10, 15% underneath comps and it worked out really well. So uh, first thing we bought was we were on the trading card side of it and got this year 2000 Pokemon Neo Genesis. So let's see if we can. And they're first edition. So that's first edition uh, Skarmory Hollow and that is a near mint eight. You're at eight on that. So Pretty much paid uh, 50 bucks. Yeah, $50 for that guy. And then 150 for this one, which is a first edition. Uh, Meganium. Meganium, I can't pronounce that. I am much less uh, knowledgeable when it comes to Pokemon stuff. I don't even know if that's right, but that's my best guess. Yeah, well that one's cool. So that's a hollow as well, and that's also an eight. Paid 150 for that. So 200 in on the Pokemon stuff. Uh, probably right around 250. Yeah, 250 right. to 300, depending. Yeah, yeah depending on what, what they go for. So great deal there. Great deal there. And then I got this. So this is going straight into the personal collection. I got this 1992 Upper Deck Fan Fanimations. Yep. Yeah, Fanimations. Michael Jordan Agent 23 card. This is a PSA 10. It is the Italian variant. Um, so there's like a US one, obviously. This one's a little bit less uh, valuable. But I just love the art on this card, and it's so cool. So I picked it up for two hundred dollars. Great so deal. Super that was excited about the best that. deal. Of the yeah. Day. So that is an amazing card. Yeah. So that's going straight into the PC, and then this is a 2014 Topps Update Mookie Betts batting, and that's also a PSA 10. And when this card was at its peak just a few months ago. It was at around twelve to thirteen hundred dollars. Which is what he had at Which is what he had it marked at. Placeholder. Yeah, placeholder. And which is great because I was like, okay, well, I'd be we'd be interested in it. What could you do? And we ended up walking out with it for two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, we pulled up the last comp at two ninety one and he said he could do two fifty. So So yeah. Mitch was amazing. If you are ever driving through the Angola area, it is between Fort Wayne and like Coldwater, Coldwater Michigan. Michigan. So kind of right on the border there of Indiana and Michigan. Uh, it's actually a place growing up that Chase and I would go with a couple friends and like uh, stay at like vacation a cabin place, and vacation yeah. and hang out. We never knew we'd come back and find a sports card store. Yes. So and we will be going there again. So shout out to them. You'll be seeing us there more in the future. Yep. And now we know that we can record in there. We never like to record on the first time in a store. Yeah. Just out of respect for them, but he's totally cool with it. And we'll be going there a bunch more. So stay tuned. And now we're going to roll into the big pickup for the card purchase from this morning. It's been a long day. We've done a lot of things, but we're excited to get into that pickup. So let's do that. All right. Well, it's the next day from the card. Actually, it's three days later from the card collection by got it home it was a really busy day but man this card collection is amazing and i wanted to show kind of the highlights the best parts of it so it was 1300 dollars total shout out to joe he's an awesome dude hooked up a great deal and we're kind of breaking some of it down into mutual flip which is the mutual venture between me and thane and then all the electronics and otherwise are going to chase after the right price so that stuff includes the canon rebel t6 with this little uh, lens here. And then this lens is really nice. So that's the complete setup there. And then two Nikon lenses, newer. They came on the Nikon like D3500 initially. Um, so those are pretty good value there. And then the PS3 as well. So that was all part of it. And then without that stuff, the buy cost kind of would have been more like $900. 
for the cards. So that's what we got here, and there's some really cool stuff. He was a big Dan Marino guy when he was a kid, so a lot of it is Dan Marino, but right on top, you can see, I set out some of the best ones, the Kaboom, which these cards are going up like crazy. If you see Kaboom for cheap, it's definitely a buy. And then the Optic Downtown, super low prints on these, and he actually already had them ready to get graded, but just didn't send them off when PSA shut down. They looked really clean. I'll probably send them to SGC. We'll see where I send them, but either way, I'm very excited about that. And then a PSA 10 Genesis Dan Marino. That is an amazing card. There's a Kobe rookie, PSA 9 Ultra. And then a bunch of cards that will probably get graded, including Ray Allen Topps Chrome, Lamella Ball Prism. There's the Emergent Silver Lamello. A couple of low-end LeBron rookies. These actually came with a little Hummer like toy car. I had some of those as a kid. That's a cool Kobe Catalyst Tops Chrome. Another Ultra rookie, but ungraded. There's another Mosaic Genesis Merino, which is crazy. I wish that was a real rookie. It is a Tops Archives, like reprint rookie. But it is a PSA 10. And then an SGC 10 of the same thing. Center Stage Merino PSA 10. Really cool card there. And then this is a third year Michael Jordan All Star CSG. So they're another grading company that is up and coming, but will probably be one of the big four moving forward. Score Franchise, Dan Marino 10, and then just a bunch of 10s. So random kind of inserts, the, the Hot Numbers is cool. Uh, the Michael Jordan one of that is huge money, but that these aren't like terribly huge money, but any PSA 10 of a Hall of Famer is a really cool card to have. There's a Refractor Chrome 9. And then more CSG, a 9 of the Rookie Reprint. That was actually 2012 tops, different than the Archives. And a bunch of 9s here, 9.5. There's a Rookie, but it's a that would be a grading company that is basically as good as Raw. That means nothing. <laughs> uh, if that was a PSA 10, that would be really, really something special. Um, Worth getting re-slapped? No, I don't think it even looks... Like, I feel like it could grade a 7 or 8, maybe, in a real company. But it says 10. Gem grading. <laughs> like, are you Check them out. a real company? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they're in business anymore. And there would be a reason for that. SGC, there's a real company. 8.5. They're consistent, they're reliable, and they're tough on grades. So that, that's kind of what you want to look for in a grading company. So a bunch of, just a bunch of cool cards, really cool collection. And to get all of that for like $900 essentially is very exciting. Okay, so going through this mutual flip box that Thane and I bought, we bought it for $1,000 and it had some cool graded cards which are over on my desk, um, but it also had some raw cards that are like ready for grading. And he didn't send them off at all because of the PSA price increase. But these are the ones that I've decided are the most obvious ones to grade. And I'm going to be grading with SGC, which is 25 bucks a card. Uh, and they're, basically the question I'm asking is, you know, will these get a decent grade? And then also will the value increase by at least $25? And the answer is yes, I think, on all of these. So there's a Topps Chrome Refractor of Dan Marino. So again, this guy was a big Dan Marino collector. So he's got a Bowman Chrome Refractor. And these are like really clean looking. I like that most of them are already in card savers. Uh, there's a Topps Archives Reserve. It looks like it's a refractor. I don't know if they had refractor and regular versions in that, but that's a cool card. Looks like his rookie card. And then a Topps Chrome Refractor. And these are the biggest two cards of the whole batch. So the Downtown super the, i think these are case hits and then i believe kabooms are also case hits so those are awesome they look super clean i'm hoping for some sgc 10s on some of this stuff and then a ray allen tops chrome rookie lamella ball couple the silver emergent and the regular uh, base rookie and then gotta love lebron rookie uh, that's a low-end rookie but it does look pretty clean and then the Catalyst Kobe, an Ultra Rookie, and then the Genesis Merino. So SGC 10s would certainly 
boost the value on any of these cards, even nines would. So I'm hoping for at least nines on all of them. And we will see what we get. So I've also got some personal cards that I'm going to add to this SGC shipment. So I found in my, uh, in the depths, got a folder from a garage sale a long time ago that had some Shohei Otanis and Ronald Acuna. So these ones are just like pack fresh, super clean, feels like they could get tens. So that's kind of the hope on those. And then this was like a binder of the, I think it's Neo Genesis. Um, but these are like untouched, the three main hollows from that set. That one's off center, so that one's not, not going to get a 10. Um, but the other two look decent. They could get high grades. And then this Kobe rookie came from a trade. So adding those to the batch and hoping for nines and tens on just about everything. The next clip you see just may be us getting these cards back. Hey guys, so in Mutual Flip, we've actually experienced a couple setbacks. Um, so I had two international sales that were through Instagram, and both of them got held up in customs for various reasons and returned back to me. So that is really unfortunate because I was out probably $120 in shipping costs. One of those packages is right here, so it was actually a bigger one. Uh, and then the Kobe Bryant PSA 9 Tops Rookie. So we lost some money there, but thankfully just made a massive sale. I'm gonna go grab it. So it's probably actually the most valuable card in Mutual Flip right now, and it sold through Instagram for $1,500, $1,550. Uh, after fees, after everything, they actually added 3% on top of that to cover the costs of the uh, goods and services fee. But let's see if we can find that. So it's the PSA 9 Michael Jordan Records Collection, which some of you may remember, we actually traded the Justin Herbert Orange PSA 10 that we pulled, or saw pulled out of a box. Bought that card for 200, graded for 60, and then traded it for this. And this just sold for 1550. So a huge win for Mutual Flip, over $1,000 in profit on that series of transactions. Loving it. This is a beautiful card, PSA 9. There's only like 23 of them in the world uh, in a 9. So kind of sad to see it go, but happy to get some funds back in Mutual Flip and hopefully to continue to get a bunch of sales to roll in. If you guys like this kind of sports card video, check out this video, live the sports card show. Thane and I went to a sports card show, got some sweet deals, had a great time. Uh, so check that one out and also stay tuned, hit that subscribe button and the bell because we are getting a massive SGC card shipment back. And I'll also make a video on my thoughts about who to grade with. So stay tuned for more videos related to sports cards, reselling, video games, buying, and more. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.